and chief outside the bungalow to have a little bit of a stretch of legs. Whilst we're waiting for James at the moment, who's going to come and uh, have a little look at the van and prep it ready for the mechanics. Um, and see if we can diagnose anything. We'll also hopefully go into the trailer and get the wheel chains ready for them to be moved around. So really appreciate that. <coughs> James would like to borrow my canoe, so that's going to be good. You see that going off and uh, having another adventure. He will be it without me. Um, so that's going to be a nice trip for Foxy help. And the parts have just arrived as well for um, the, the filter and you go in! Stone post that, you can climb stone posts. Yeah, sorry, so my fuel filter's arrived and my UC, UG, whatever it's called as well. Um, so, um, there's another mechanic who was going to come and help move the vans, and if he can obviously bang that on tomorrow, that'd be handy. And then Joe comes to get the injectors and welding and anything else that needs to be done to get her right. So I really appreciate all the help that's coming in now. Even the people on Facebook have been giving me um, hints and ideas and telling me what the common faults are with the transits. Um, and obviously that's really helped me stop panicking a little bit and realise that all is not lost just yet. Um, anyway, so I say I've got to pack her up. Um, I'm just getting all ready for the show. So we've got to get her loaded at Friday morning and go and get the stock to the show. Um, it's only three miles away, but hopefully we'll get there and back. So the more help we can get to help her feel a bit better before that happens, before she's meant it will be really handy. Anyway, come and get this look if you want a bit of exercise. Can't go far, so I'll just wait for people to come. Did you? Come on then, this way, come on then. You're a good boy. I'm so cute on this lid. And is to meet and greet everybody and see the huge crowd, which is going to be a bit terrifying, but um, we'll do our best with him. And see if we can get some cuddles and some photo shoots done and give him some people training. Okay. Yeah! You good boy, you coming up? Nope, he's having a coffee play. Where are you going? We'll sit down here with you for a minute, eh? Huh? Got thistles everywhere down here. I'll come back in the place of the forest. Hello! What are you doing? You good boy? You good boy. And also I want to get him used to not having the company of the cats all the time. So obviously he's relying on them and getting nervous without them. So we need to get him out and forward and training. In fact, I've just got a come on order for the babies as well. I've got a pram this time, so I can expect to put more in there. So I can contain all the babies, kittens, when I'm out walking. And uh, I need to go walking again, get my knees sorted. So Chief's going to have to learn to walk with the pram and be carried or travel in the pram as well. And that will get me walking around here ready for winter winter training and get my fitness back on track. Um, so I don't walk at all much, obviously, with the cats stuck in the van. So whilst Connie's going to be in with the babies, um, me and Chief will start walking the block with the pram. And that gives us another secure place to jump into. And the body of the pram is actually the carrier detaches so that's going to be absolutely awesome. Um, <laughs> he's going to get complex, it is pink, I couldn't get any other colour. Um, that's all okay, it's Connor's pram at the end of the day, the baby's pram. I've also been spending time um, with kitten names. Now I knew I had a Highlander coming in this um, litter, I thought that was the one I was going to keep, but um, I just realised there's another name that I'm going to use on, for the boy I'm going to keep. And I'm not going to um, share that yet. But it's very personal to me. And, uh, it fits Connie and Chief. Lovely. And my life. So I've been working on boy and girl names ready for the kittens. Um, some names I want to keep till I've got a Savannah litter. So uh, it's like working on names that don't matter if I don't keep. <laughs> anyway, best of waffling. Day. 
so I am just coming back now um, from I think where I am <laughs> dropping the trailer off at my mate's house um, James came along today to have a look at the van and we were messing about under the bonnet with tubes coming out and pipes here and there water was empty all sorts of weird and wonderful things going on um, we decided that um, all the pipes that were being found loose and things and whatever it may be okay now um, so we decided to take, go for a run to get the trailer uh, to see if the van was still playing up or not um, with him following me obviously I could get back be picked up and get back to the cats if needed so we did that so uh, did a 20 mile run out in the van um, and uh, she drove fine hit the trailer up just dropped that back at um, Gail's lovely girl who so kindly left it on her driveway um, and we're just heading back now to mine because um, um, he's going to have um, He's going to borrow my canoe in return for helping. Um, so we're just loading up all the big, big canoe for James. Um, just going back to my nest, get another ball for him and check on the cats. And uh, so I've got all these parts that have arrived. Um, and I don't know if we're going to be using them or not. But now, if she's going to carry on drinking the water and the water disappearing um, after this trip as well, um, then it could be a head gasket apparently. Uh, but at least she's moving. At least I can use her for the weekend and um, and she's behaving herself beautifully. I've obviously got to keep an eye on the water, it may just be a fluke. Um, still don't know what it was, so until Joe gets down next week um, or whenever we can get here to have a good old look then um, I'm just at the mercy of how Destiny behaves. Uh, I haven't done much of a vlog, I've just been so busy messing about with the van and, and the trailers and that and just really pushing on time and getting things done. So I apologise for the fact that all you can see is the van in front of me. Um, but I was just trying to do a bit of a quick waffle. Uh, so the stress of getting the trailer off site, right, done that. Um, changed the tyre, right, changed the wheel over. The tyre was a bit soft when we got there, so that all needs to do in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to reduce the trailer down and try and get it just sold off cheap and get it gone. Um, so that's off Gale's property then and I'm just, just let it be. Um, and it's just going to take a lot of stress in the way. The little motorbike trailer is still up in storage. Um, but I've got um, somebody coming down for that one, hopefully beginning next week before it's due to come off. Um, and then the lady from Scotland's coming down in September to come and get the tent. The tent is actually in dark. <laughs> with another friend of mine who's kindly looking after it. So I think this is really getting going. So now what I'm going to do now, I've got to get back, focus on loading up and getting ready for the show, else come my Body Spirit show. See if we can go and sell some stock and earn some money to pay for all these repairs and things going wrong um, and just then chill a little bit like I said I don't really know I'm still going to get to the Overlander show um, if it's not okay and obviously the babies are going to be really really young I may just have to sort of cut my losses there I really wanted to sort of get to know people go there and everything else but um, I haven't had a confirmed display yet and I've already bought my ticket anyway so for the sake of losing 50 quid I think I'm insured actually um, so I could, might be able to claim that back but I think if I just get this weekend over with and then just sort of wait for Joe to come and sort the van out and just enjoy having the kittens, having them born, um, work on my online shop, work on my fundraising shop, just get, you know, things gone and sell us whatever I can, then uh, that will help. Anyway, um, I'll catch up later. And I've got to say a huge, huge thanks to everybody who's been sending messages, posting on Facebook, all the potential problems it could be, offering to come and see it, help me out. You know, you've all been stars. Um, still not quite resolved, but at least we're moving. And that's all that matters right now. Bye for now.